Apologies for my hat going missing, some asshole monkey stole it from me. Super Mario Maker for the Wii U, Nintendo's big project for 2015 to celebrate 30 years of the Super Mario Bros. franchise. Mario has essentially been the savior of video games ever since the video game crash of 1983. That classic gray box was made and the original Super Mario Bros. said, Fear not gamers, for I bring you joy again. But now Nintendo have given the designer positions to us, the players, given the ability to create our very own Mario levels. I've been excited to play Mario Maker ever since Nintendo showed the first trailer in their 2015 E3 digital event. Originally it was going to be a tool for Nintendo's development team to make Mario games more easily, but then they realized the potential of giving this out as a game for consumers to basically create Mario Bros. sequels for them. Mario Maker was released just a few months ago at this time, but the wait for this game for me was terrible. I saw the trailer in June and only had to wait two months for it to come out, but I was far too eager to play it. I was quickly losing patience, and watching the IGN live plays and Nintendo Treehouse videos on Mario Maker was just torturing me. I even went as far as designing a level on a piece of paper. Yeah, I know, that's kinda sad. Please excuse the crudity of Bowser, I didn't have enough skill to draw him correctly. The main idea of Mario Maker is to create your own levels, but through the use of the internet, you can also post your levels online so that other people can play your level, and vice versa. But I'll come back to that in a bit. The level editor itself is extremely user-friendly, so anybody should be able to pick it up and quickly understand what to do. There's an electronic manual if you're ever not sure about something, and the game gives you a simple tutorial with basic blueprints when you create a new save file. So even if you've never played a Mario game before, you can jump right in and feel at home straight away. You start off with a basic set of tools, but when you use them all for a certain amount of time, you can access the next set of tools within the next day. Though since a lot of people didn't really like that idea, Nintendo thankfully added a patch as soon as Mario Maker came out to give you the new tools straight away after using the previous ones for longer, which I guess is a little better, but I think I'll stick to moving the clock forward. Part of the fun of Mario Maker is experimenting with different objects to see the possibilities of unique level design. Usually in level editors I would hate that sort of thing, but Mario Maker makes creating levels so ridiculously easy to do that you don't even mind. Everything is done on the Wii U's gamepad and is probably the only time I would ever use the forgotten stylus. You use the stylus, or your finger if you're feeling really lazy, to place all sorts of obstacles and terrain that Mario has to go through to get to the end of the level. You have all sorts of options to choose from as to how you want to tweak the rules of your level, such as moving the goalpost to make the level longer, or putting in a shorter time limit, or making the level auto-scroll with three different speeds. You also have a choice between graphical styles based on both the old school and the new school Mario games, including the original Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and New Super Mario Bros. U, all coming equipped with Mario's abilities from those games. With the Mario 1 style, you can run, jump, and nothing else. But in Mario 3, you can carry shells with you and kick them when you want to. In Mario World, you're able to kick shells up in the air and do a spin jump that lets you bounce on dangerous obstacles and instantly kill enemies. And finally, the new Mario style lets you wall jump and have a short bit of air time while pressing the spin button. With these abilities at Mario's disposal, there are a number of possibilities as to what kind of level you want to make. Like a traditional Mario level with puzzle elements, or a more speedy kind of level going to the full standards of something like Rayman Origins and Legends or Super Meat Boy. Oh, there's actually a level based on Super Meat Boy. Great, as if online levels weren't hard enough. No, no, wait, getting ahead of myself, sorry about that. But the other nice thing about the different art styles is that each of the obstacles and enemies have specially made sprites for Mario Maker, even though some of the obstructions never existed in the older games. Anyway, in addition to the graphical styles, you can also pick a theme for your level that have become staples to the Mario universe. You have Grassland, Underworld, Airship, Underwater, Ghost House, and Castle themes. No Ice theme, Desert theme, or Jungle theme though, and I don't know why. Some of the terrain seems to be missing too, like slopes and movable jewel blocks. There are even enemies that are somehow absent, like Charging Chucks, Rexes, Boom Booms, and the Koopalings. I'm sure all of this will be sorted with future DLC, like how Nintendo dealt with Super Smash Bros. 4 and Mario Kart 8, but these really should have been stuff to put in from the get-go. Well, the Mario Maker stage in Smash 4 has slopes in it, so maybe they have noticed it not being there. There is a lot of potential for level design as it is, but adding this extra stuff can broaden the horizons even more. They would certainly be a lot better than the sound effects option. 
This feature I'm really not a big fan of. It's filled with all sorts of bells, noises, grunts, screaming, and they all have some sort of visual add-on to it. Like distorting the screen or creating a sweet rave party. I was very worried when I saw that sound effects were going to be included in the editor because I thought the people of the internet would oversaturate their levels with an annoying racket. But surprisingly, I've found very few of those kind of levels. I've had plenty of levels that maybe use a few sound effects, but not a lot of them to a ridiculous degree. I have judged these people wrong. You know what I can't forgive them for, though? Huge messes of level design. Oh yeah, we're getting to that now. They're not as bad as they were on day one of this game's release, but I still have a very miserable time with some of these levels. Some people really don't know how to make a good Mario level. I'm talking about levels that are filled with far too many enemies, sometimes even piled up on each other. Levels that can be beaten extremely quickly, on occasions not even challenging you with a single obstacle. Levels that trap you if you do something wrong, extremely awkward jumps, levels requiring a lot of trial and error, and levels trying way too hard to be difficult. Seeing how you need to finish your level to upload it online, I do wonder how their designers managed to do so successfully. And these are more of a personal hatred, but I cannot stand the stupid amount of automatic and music levels. Where exactly is the fun in putting the controller down and letting the game play itself? I'm sure they're difficult to make, but I don't know about you, I prefer to actually engage myself with the game. The same goes for the music levels. I tried making one of these myself and it was boring as hell to do. I actually saw some potential for these kind of levels. I thought they'd be like the music levels in Rayman Legends. Those were awesome, but since you only have so much space to make a level, stopping the song halfway through to go in a pipe and continue just ruins the mood. But when you do find a really good level, you can give the creator a star, essentially a like. You can only upload up to 10 courses to start with, but the more stars you earn, the more medals you earn, and the more courses you can upload online. In a way, I think this is good because it encourages you to create some well-polished levels to earn more stars. It may require a bit more patience, but the reward should be well worth it. Despite coming across some bad levels, online play is mainly there in case you don't feel like being creative. You can either search and pick levels individually, or you can participate in the 100 Mario Challenge, where you have 100 lives to clear a number of uploaded courses by other players. You can choose between three difficulty settings, Easy, Normal, or Expert. With Easy Mode having you go through 8 courses to only save Toad at the end, while Normal and Expert set 16 courses where you save the airhead that is Princess Peach. Yeah, naturally, there's little to no story in Mario Maker. It's all about the gameplay. The difficulty of the levels are determined on how many people have cleared it compared to the number of attempts to finish it. The lower the numbers, the more difficult your course is regarded. So be prepared to see a lot of those automatic levels I mentioned on the easy difficulty. 100 lives is a bit much for the easy and normal modes, but on expert mode you need all the lives you can get. Because this is where most of the bullshit levels come from and you'll most likely face about 5 in a row. Thank god for the ability to skip levels you can't be bothered to complete. There used to be no option for checkpoints in the levels, but even after the update, you may still find yourself in a 5 minute gauntlet and die because you stubbed your toe and you need to start the whole level again. Screw that, I've seen what the level is offered, next course please. Each time you complete the 100 Mario challenge, you unlock an 8-bit costume of a Nintendo character that Mario can wear when you place a mystery mushroom in your level, complete with their own neat little sound effects. You can even play as Sonic the Hedgehog in a Mario game. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. A large number of them can also be unlocked by using the appropriate amiibo, and trust me it speeds up the process a hell of a lot if you use a bunch of them. Speaking of amiibos, you can get the package of Mario Maker that includes the heavy 8-bit Mario amiibo. Yeah, I know I have the Modern Colors one instead of the Classic Colors one, I kinda like the Modern Colors one more personally. God, I hate opening these things, it makes me feel so dirty. Anyway, using the 8-bit Mario amiibo lets you add the giant mushroom that makes Mario huge and breaks blocks, as well as providing a visual filter as if you're playing on an old TV. All Mario Maker packaging also gives you this neat little idea book that's there to help you come up with thoughts for level design, and to check out some little videos on how the levels were made when inputting the code in the book for each one. I also like the secret videos you can find showing off Takashi Tezuka and Shigeru Miyamoto. If you don't want to play online levels, then you can instead participate in the 10 Mario Challenge, which involves finishing 8 courses at a time made by Nintendo themselves with a total of 64 courses. And completing all of them unlocks 4 extra levels that were made for the 2015 Nintendo World Championship. 
Once you get the latest update as well, you'll also be able to play event courses that are created for special events, sometimes giving you an extra costume, and the official courses that are also made by Nintendo if you want to play levels constructed by actual proper level designers. I may not be one of those professional level designers, but here are codes for a couple of my proudest levels if you're ever interested. Yeah, unfortunately you have to use codes to search for levels, it's rather stupid. Mario Maker has it all in terms of entertaining everybody. It has a fantastic and easy toolset for the creative mind, and it has endless levels to be played if you just want to engage yourself in short bursts of a traditional Mario adventure. This is a product that can be recommended to both people who enjoy making their own levels and lovers of the platformer genre, and who better to help you than the famed Italian plumber himself. Mario has been around since the 80s and made video games popular again, and I think a lot of people that make fun of him nowadays either forget that or don't even bother to acknowledge. Mario Maker is an excellent celebration of the many years of enjoyment he and Nintendo have brought to us. Mario, Nintendo, Miyamoto, thank you very much. So I guess this is where people are going to be wanting more games like Mario Maker for other Nintendo characters, like Metroid Maker, or Donkey Kong Country Maker, or if they're feeling really ballsy, Sonic the Hedgehog Maker. Yeah, I know he's not Nintendo, but you never know. I do wonder where Mario games are going to carry on from here, though. What is going to be Nintendo's next grand reveal for their mascot? Well, hopefully we'll know soon, but for now, go and buy yourself a Wii U and play Mario Maker. There's endless amount of entertainment to be found and a lot of creativity put into it. Thank you all for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wonder who that could be. But for now, go and buy yourself a Wii U and play Mario Maker. There's endless amount of entertainment to be-